Hi friends, I'm Olga Kirsch and welcome to my studio. Today we're gonna paint a beautiful sunflower bouquet in a vintage style in muted tones and I hope you really enjoy the process. So let's start. Let's paint sunflower bouquet and we will start from the middle with random moves with the tip of the brush. Uh, we create this sunflower middle and I leave uh, a lot of white spaces to emulate the sunflower seeds and to make it more interesting I combine basically all the brown colors which I have in my palette relatively random I just keep in mind that sunshine comes from the top, which means the bottom of the flower, of the bud, of everything should be a little bit darker than, than the upper part. And sunflowers, they, they usually have uh, the middle part a little bit inside, which makes it darker. And I'm painting with raw sienna because it has nice um, dusty shade and I use it very diluted. <laughs> it was not, not very diluted, but yes, I will make it very diluted right now. And I just start a little bit with overlapping with the middle and I paint these petals around. I start with the tip of the brush and I leave a little bit space inside the petal to create um, this mm, <laughs> to imitate uh, the middle line and um, these folds which are very very beautiful in sunflower and yes, I go like this it's also nice to combine some colors for example I add queen acridon rose to rose sienna and it creates this pleasant pinkish yellowish color it's really really beautiful and again we, rem we keep in mind that sun shines from the top and here is the bottom which allows us to be to use more intense colors um, if, for example, for the future you're planning to scan this uh, painting or, and use it for some prints, maybe it's not that necessary, but it's always nice to have some, some variety in shades. It makes your artwork unique, nice, interesting. I want to add a little bit of light here. I wash my brush, I clean my brush with paper towel and I remove. And I kind of even drag out the color like this. Now we get uh, like this, we get some folds. I have very ra rather thick brush and I, I sometimes paint mostly with with the belly of the brush I uh, overlapping sometimes some petals I like to overlap them some, in some parts I leave some space so it looks playful, natural, some leaves uh, look a little bit to the side and grows in different directions so when you paint some flower try to avoid painting some flower with um, like 
kids paint in sunshine, for example. Petals could look in different directions and have different shades. And I just look where it is still wet, where the paper is still wet, and this allows me to add some some dark colors for the volume. Sometimes it's nice to add very, very diluted petals on the on the back side of, of the flower, of our sunflower, or a little bit darker. I'm painting right on the top, but carefully, and remove unnecessary colors so now one flower is ready and we move to the second one uh, it's basically the same procedure but for to make it more interesting I I will make it uh, a little bit half closed some again some um, middle part but not so much because right now I will focus on the petals which will grow like this uh, it's same principle We just um, try to bring all these petals to imaginary middle. Could paint, put some small little tiny little dot, which help you to bring all the petals to the same to the same place. And again, it's nice to create some color variety. My favorite mixture is Queen Acridon Rose and Rose Sienna. It gives this beautiful, delicate, vintage feeling. I especially I leave um, the white space here, so it. Um, um, gives us a little bit more freedom, free hand to create beautiful middle part. Uh, for example, right now I could make some parts of middle a little bit darker. And I always I leave some just white space. It makes the flower very airy, very gentle, and uh, very natural, because it has a lot of sunshine. All petals which are inside, they are slightly darker. like this and I want to make them slightly maybe just slightly more roundish and maybe add some extra and for the front petal I imagine that here will be the front petal I just wash my brush I dry my brush and I remove all the color here. And that's how I create the front petals. Even on the top of um, 
of uh, the middle which already we have painted it was a little bit unpredictable just like this and it's time to add some greenery for greenery i mix green color and van dyke to make this very very dusty green more <laughs> grayish than a green because it really creates this beautiful vintage feeling and with very brave moves and with very bold strokes I create this very specific sunflower uh, greenery around it's so even nice to add some extra one dike it's very dark brown color here and maybe some olive green olive green it's uh, it gives uh, the feeling of sunlight nice to add something to our bouquet for example um, these flowers um, it's more like an onion flower um, the, de the decorative one I can't remember the name it just came to me very spontaneously It's pretty simple uh, I and I think it really makes our bouquet lovelier. For the top one I took Oxid Red. For this one I use Raw Sienna. And again it's slightly lighter on the top and more. darker on the bottom it's small little details but uh, they play a lot once you um, once you finish the picture it really it really be for your uh, for your classes and you paint it attention to small tiny little details Okay, I think we could put all these funny things on, on some stems. Just like this. Stems maybe not my favorite part to paint, but I will be brave <laughs> and I could manage. It's nice to show that the stems really comes here. Uh, maybe one big, big leaf here. I basically I painted with the with the whole brush, with the body of the brush, not with the tip of the brush, because sunflower leaves they are very thick. They have Mm, very bold texture and I try to imitate it with some wiggling moves around and adding some shades under under the petals maybe along the main line and I think one more would be nice I will take olive green and with a belly and some wiggling moves just like this I create one more leaf and I connect everything and maybe 
one tiny little detail I would like to finish the picture with some greenery here you see I do not have I actually I do not have reference um, uh, let's say my reference is very far from what you see on the picture and I do not have any sketch I'm just uh, painting I think what would be beautiful in from the view of composition from the view of colors usually it works very well and it uh, makes the painting process really creative um, and relaxing just fun small last tiny details here the middle part is dry and I want to add some texture, a dry brush. It will look very, very pretty at the end. And I um, add details again, basically on the bottom part, on the bottom half of the middle part to make it darker and on the top just just few with oxid red for the structure it's nice when we have this structure a little bit in this part this could be more darker for the contrast like this and our beautiful sunflower bouquet is ready Thank you so much for watching, please leave some feedback and comments which flower you would like to paint next, subscribe my channel and see you next time, bye bye!